times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Monica, pray for us. Prayer for the 500th anniversary of the arrival of the Santo Nino image in Cebu. Señor Santo Nino de Cebu, you are the abiding presence of the Father in our journey of faith. As we celebrate the 500th anniversary of the arrival of your miraculous image on our shores, we humbly ask you to send the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may become your faithful apostles in the vast and complex arena of today's world. May our Christian faith and our deep devotion to you become the source of renewal in our society as we go along our pilgrim way to you who lives and reigns forever and ever amen senor santo nino de cebu have mercy on us intercessory prayer to saint monica faithful god light of all hearts we praise you for saint monica woman of living faith and reconciling love she nursed her son, St. Augustine, in the name of Jesus, and urged him tirelessly to a Christian way of life. In answer to her prayers for St. Augustine's conversion, you gave her greater joy than all her tears had dared to ask. Through the intercession of St. Monica, we ask you to hear our prayers here, mention your request. As you once captivated the heart of St. Augustine, so now draw our hearts to you, beauty ever ancient, ever new. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Monica, pray for us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with Amen. your spirit. In this holy sacrifice of the Mass, we lift to God all our personal intentions, and all those intentions offered here by the pilgrims and devotees of Signor Santo Dino. And we also pray for the swift end of the coronavirus pandemic, especially healing for those who got infected and protection for those who are working in, in the medical field. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. things come. Grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, to this day, whenever Moses is read, a veil is lies over the hearts of the children of Israel. But whenever a person turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. All of us, gazing with unveiled face on the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory as from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Therefore, since we have this ministry through the mercy shown us, we are not discouraged. And even though our gospel is veiled, it is veiled for those who are perishing, in whose case the God of his age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers, so that they may not see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. 
For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your slaves for the sake of Jesus. For God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to bring to light the knowledge of the glory of God and the face of Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for He proclaims to his people near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him glory dwelling in our land the glory of the Lord will dwell in and truth shall meet justice and peace shall kiss truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven the glory shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps the glory of the Lord will dwell in our land A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, 
Leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother. And then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, do you usually leave foul words in the comment section of Facebook, for those who have Facebook, or in Twitter and any other social media platforms? Or do you leave, or do you often leave derogatory words that calls a person unintelligent or inferior? Do you say a very foul word to someone and it leaves a shock to a person that it destroys the identity or the moral stand of a person and it then it turns the person to be depressed. Or if we had been gossiping, our source of our gossiping is leaving hurting words about other people and we laugh about it and we find joy in doing these things. If we are not aware, my dear brothers and sisters, that we are not doing these things, then we are not aware that we are already consumed by anger. And the worst of so much anger, my dear brothers and sisters, is we become or we commit the gravest sin and that we in turn murder the person. It leads you to commit a murder. So dear brothers and sisters, be careful when we are always angry. Today Jesus in our gospel, my dear brothers and sisters, has taught us something that is very uncommon. Anger becomes morally equivalent to murder. There, if we go back to our gospel from Matthew, Jesus mentioned one of the Ten Covenants that you shall not kill. And whoever kills will be liable to judgment. And with this quotation of Jesus from one of the Ten Commandments, he went deeper into the reason why would someone kill? Why would someone murder a person? Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters, wants us to be aware of the levels of anger. But Jesus clearly says that if you are angry enough to use insulting and hurtful language, then you are in danger of not entering into the kingdom of heaven. But when we ask, what are the levels of anger? The first level, my dear brothers and sisters, is the first level of sin is simply to be angry. 
interiorly. The sin of anger is an interior attitude of disgust toward another. Jesus says that the consequence of having anger toward another is that you will be liable to judgment. The second level of sin is when you say to, a, to another, Raka. So what is the meaning of the word Raka? For us to understand this word. This is an Aramaic word which is very difficult to translate in our own language today. But the meaning of it, my dear brothers and sisters, it would include some form of expression of one's anger toward another. It would be a derogatory way of saying to another that they are an intelligent or inferior. Kanabitaw maingon kang wakay na human, bugo ka. Asa man ni mo gikuha, kanang imuhang mga gipangsulti. It is like the fruit of our anger. The third level of sin Jesus identifies is when you call another fool. Buangka. This word is an even stronger expression of raka. So this is much stronger than the word raka. And would be a verbal criticism of them. Indicating that the person is a lost soul in a moral sense. It's a strong moral condemnation of another that is expressed. The three levels of the sin of anger. But we might as well ask, my dear brothers and sisters, what causes us to be angry? When someone creates stories which are not true, or when there are people who bullies us. There can be so many reasons for us to be angry. And when we reflect on it, my dear brothers and sisters, we can never be angry. And there are many things in this life which us which ought to anger us. And even Jesus was angry with the money changers at the temple. And if you go back to the Old Testament, there were so many instances there that would describe God who is an angry God. But if we come to think of it and reflect of it, my dear brothers and sisters, it is the cause of our anger which is a problem. But also, what we do with that anger once it rises. So, ang pangutanan ni makaigsunan, kung sa may atong buhaton, sa ato ang kalagon, sa dihang musaka na ni siya, when it rises, when it is already trying to consume us, that sometimes we fail to acknowledge that we are already anger. Or sometimes, because we had been so angry for how many days and, and we do not even notice that anger becomes a part of ready of our personality. Mapagamay nga lihok, masuko na dayon ta. Anger without causes, anger without reasons. But today, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus said to his disciples, when we ask the question, how do we deal then with our angers? Jesus taught his disciples, my dear brothers and sisters, that to handle anger, we should deal it differently with the rest of the world. He said that you should seek reconciliation rather than revenge. And more importantly, 
you deal you will deal with the internal causes of anger before lashing out at people as i've said in our gospel today jesus instructed that before you proceed to the altar and offer your sacrifices go back and recall to those people who are not who are you ang are angry with and ask for forgiveness reconcile with each other and to summarize everything my dear brothers and sisters i'd like to borrow the words of saint augustine who leaves us a very powerful message that is still very relevant today and he wrote these words my dear brothers and sisters in his rule you know he created a rule that would guide his brothers who would live in a community life and this is what he said you should either avoid quarrels altogether or else put an end to them as quickly as possible otherwise anger may grow into hatred making a plank out of a splinter and turn the soul into a murderer for so you read everyone who hates his brother or sister is a murderer that is taken from the first letter of john chapter 3 verse 15 so let us take note always of this my dear brothers and sisters whenever you hate your brother then you are a murderer amen Please all rise. Let us pray to God that we, His people, who have experienced His forgiveness, may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. And our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may truly become a sacrament for the world through the ministry of reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That those who are rightly committed to causes of justice and human liberation may not only accuse and protest, but recognize and uproot sin in their own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples who are estranged from one another may come to forgive understand and appreciate one another once again let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that we may be healed of our pride and be humble enough to accept our faults and failures so that we may live peace peaceably with one another let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the servant of god Teofilo Kamumot, Bishop, be raised to the altars of the saint. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Senior San Tudinho, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our country and in the whole world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in direct patient care, give them strength for their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those isolated in their homes, sustain them in joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For decision makers at all levels, send them your wisdom and good counsel to serve their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died because of the pandemic and those who grieve their loss in isolation, comfort them in their sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, deliver us from hardness of heart and grant that we may be always ready to seek reconciliation 
and heal any form of division. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice through hands for the praising God of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, through Christ our Lord. Through Him the angels praise Your Majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before You. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Who have proclaimed us, O Lord, and profession resurrection, and sell ye God Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gotten into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Archbishop, his auxiliary bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Augustine, St. Monica, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Alunson, and all the saints of please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs with our life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Love God, you say, go away and seize our world. Have mercy on us. Love God, you say, go away and seize our world. Have mercy on us. Love
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be, Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God, God rebuke him, him. We, we humbly pray. pray. O, o Prince of the, the Heavenly Hosts, host, by the, the power, power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits roaming around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy Angels in Heaven, pray for us. Blessing of religious articles, let us pray. God, by His Word, all things are made holy. Pour out your blessing in these religious articles and symbols of devotion and faith. And grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law, and with a spirit of thanksgiving, may experience your power, health in body, and protection in soul 
as invoke your most holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. I will be.